alright, I got this guitar at a garage sale. I only had to pay two dollars for it. I probably should stop singing and get back to teaching English. Not even one lesson. The goal of today's English lesson is to help you feel more comfortable when you're speaking English. To help you do that, we are going to visit an American garage sale. The first thing we should talk about is what is a garage sale? You might also hear rummage sale, lawn sale, yard sale, garage sale. We have a bunch of names for it. But basically what that means is somebody has a lot of stuff they wanna get rid of, so they put it outside of their house, they advertise it maybe in a newspaper, and other people come to buy the stuff that these people don't want. We'll talk to the homeowner, Christy, in just a little bit, but let's take a look at some of the items you could buy at a garage sale. Let's talk about the verb rummage. A lot of Americans have something called a junk drawer. That's just probably a place in the kitchen, a drawer where they put a bunch of stuff, odds and ends, and if you rummage through that, that means you are looking for something and you might have to move other items as you rummage. Garage, you probably know that term, across the street right there. That person has a garage. A lot of times you can store a car in the garage, but a lot of Americans just keep buying stuff and they don't have room in their garage for a car. Now this is grass, but you could also call it a lawn or a front lawn or maybe like a front yard. That's where we get all of those terms, rummage sale, yard sale, lawn sale, garage sale. Let's talk about some of these items that are for sale. I don't know, I don't, actually, I don't think this is for sale. I think this is, yeah, that looks like somebody's using that. I don't think we can buy that, but maybe we could buy this dresser. We'd probably call this a dresser, maybe a bureau, look at this. We would definitely call these board games. They look like they're on a blue tarp. Oh, this thing, Pie Face. This was super popular a couple of years ago. To play Pie Face, you ask a bunch of questions, and I think if you get it wrong, you get a pie in the face. That could be fun. That could be messy. Let's talk about the verb outgrow. Here, there are a lot of clothes for sale, and it probably means that the children in this house are too big for these clothes now. They've outgrown them. They're selling them for pretty cheap. Two bucks for a pair of jeans? Not bad. Look at this, over here we have some exercise equipment. I should probably buy this. I need to get in shape. I think we might call that a Bowflex. I'm not sure. Right, we got we some scooters over here. That thing. I don't know what that thing is called in English, but I bet it has something to do with water. Ooh, that might be a sprinkler to water your lawn. I could always ask the homeowner. Her name's Christy. Christy, this blue thing, what, what would we call that? That, I call a mister. mister. <laughs> because oh. you, you can put it out on a hot day and like blow mist, like a water mist. Good call. Do you want to be on camera here? That's fine. Okay. This is Christy. She <laughs> owns this place. This is most of her stuff? Yes. Mine and my, my daughter's. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is not a multi-family yard sale. It's just your family. Just my family. And my mother did bring a few things to sell. Gotcha. But I get to keep the money. <laughs> I like that deal. <laughs> so Christy, how much is this, mister? Oh, a dollar. A dollar. Okay. That's a pretty good deal. All right, so let's talk about the difference between Mr. and Mr. When Christy said Mr., that means it, it puts out a mist, really fine water. I've talked about mist in the past on this channel, but it sounds a lot like what you would call an older gentleman, like Mr. Smith or Mr. Jones, two completely different things. Don't you love English? All right, let's talk about the uh, phrasal verb, get rid of. I think Christy would just be happy if all of this stuff was gotten rid of so she wouldn't have to put it back inside her house. It's quite a lot of stuff here. And this garage sale is for one day only from nine to three. So I bet if you come here later in the day, the prices are going to be even more of a bargain. I'm gonna come over here and talk about bargain. Bargain can be a noun or it can be a verb. Let's talk about the verb first, to bargain. 
If you bargain with somebody, that means you try to get a better deal. Let's say that Mr. we just talked about was $1. Like that is super cheap, super cheap. But what if I said to Christy, hey, will you take 50 cents for that? So it's a lower price. I'm trying to get a better deal and she might give it to me. But if you go into stores in the United States, like the big ones, like Walmart, you may have heard of that. You can't bargain there. Those are fixed prices. If the shirt is $10, you have to pay $10 for it and probably a little extra tax. But let's talk about bargain as a noun. It can be a thing. And if you get a bargain, that means you paid a lower price for an item you thought would be more expensive. Garage sales are a great place to find bargains. It looks like we've stumbled on the decoration part of the garage sale. These look like um, possibly Halloween decorations. Got the scary spiders. That says boo. You might say boo if you want to scare somebody in English. Yeah, I think those things can be called floor mats or door mats. You put them in front of a door so people can wipe off their shoes before they step inside your house. I have my eye on something. If you have your eye on something, that means you, you might want to buy it. Right here. This pink guitar. I think I'm going to ask Christy how much this pink guitar is. Maybe we'll try to bargain with her. I have exactly $7 in my pocket. If I can get that guitar for less than $7, I might take it. I'm gonna ask Christy about this guitar. Christy, hey, how much are you looking to get for that pink guitar? $3. I have $7. You don't need that much. Can I get it for $3? You can get it for $3. Can I get it for $2? Yeah, you could get it for $2. Okay. I think $3 is a fair price, but if I came back later today and it was still here, you might give it to me for a dollar, right? Absolutely. I might say it's free. <laughs> Even better, I love free things. I'm going back to my car to get my wallet because uh, I'm buying that guitar. I might even play a few bars of music for you, even though I've never taken guitar lessons. And I think you will realize that once I start playing guitar. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Over here, we have some aquatic items. Anytime you hear aquatic in English, think water. But it looks like these are uh, aquariums, probably. Oh, look at that. Some decorations for your aquarium. Over here might be the uh, appliance section. These look like household appliances. You have a, a coffee maker. I don't know what that is, but it's only $3. Cuisinart. Oh, an ice cream maker? Is that an ice cream maker? That's pretty cool. That might be a rice cooker, crock pot, or oh, a space heater for those cold winter mornings. This looks like it's the sporting goods section of the yard sale. Got some softball helmets there. Look at that. We would call those visors. You wear those on your head. Those are visors to keep the sun out of your eyes. It's a life jacket right there to protect yourself while you're on a boat in the water. Yeah, we would call this a, a set of knives, a set of knives. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson at an American garage sale. If you are looking for more English lessons, right up there, that's one I did at a New York City hotel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.